Kid as they start to dive in from two avenues to pressure onto this B site. Destrian's been taken out of play for the meantime, and now Minbu going forward. It's going to be a couple of kills coming in quickly for GG, and now they've got the site. You've got Mini Boo oh. and Boo on the team. It's kind of crazy, but there's only two players alive for OG. The plant has gone in a lot of control across the map for GG here, and Krigon's the one that's taking the face, and Boo's the one to get the final kill. Okay, suddenly we're just opening for the class. He's got a teammate in behind him. They're going to try and bid out these early shots, and Mini Boo has done very well. EPS is turning. Four plays in front of him. Mini Boo with his third of the round. It's ringing through my ears right now. I don't know why it's so loud just hitting the right click on the door, but yeah, Trek's about to find everything. It was almost flawless, but Destrian's able to do a little bit of damage. The spike is oh. going through. It's oh. getting more and more expensive at GG now. There is a genuine chance to go for this defuse, and now Boo needs to go in and try and clear it. Destrian, the ex teammates facing off against each other, and suddenly that got very with a good start here. A very confident play. He knows he has to take that judge close, so. He's dashing right down in the middle updraft, trying to get a higher position to deal with it. Working with some aggression, a double push through beam in from Destrian and DPS, and they've been able to get a double kill out of that. It's a huge start to the round here for OG. They know they have to take a risk due to the economic situation, and they've made it work. Yeah, they managed to go in for a good pinch. We saw this on the previous map as well. But Dreamass has done a really good job of shutting this down. Dreamass and Destrian both playing on Honk way back when. Oh. Where it did look a little worrying at the beginning, but now the turret's gonna spot out Dreamass. He's able to get his third kill of the round. Gotta be careful here, OG. They don't give away any of these fights because you can still certainly win this. So Dreamass can turn this into 1v1s, but now this one's gonna make things difficult. He has been given another 1v1. Now just one in front of him, and he goes for the fight. The zero point doesn't catch on to anything, but it clears the angle. Unko's ready to go with the paranoia. The near side players are gonna get hit, and it's a lovely peek again from Unko but pretty much traded out. The spike should go down. OG now trying to retake the site. Well, it's a confident play here from Oncode, really trying to make the difference. Since Vic's going to dive on down into the site, Trex, DPS, they're getting all the kills between them, and it's a big round for OG. It connects onto the silver, but Boo is still in a dangerous position, and he wins against that peak. That crit, used to the Hunter's Fury. I mean, it was a little blind, but he just goes for it. Perfect. Back on, but right now they are just going to sit back. Oh. And shells go in, and they're going to connect as well. Damage done, but no kill. And now pushing through, Trex goes for the aggressive stacks in the defense, and he's come away with a double. Showstopper away with a second kill, and Onko again getting impact out of this omen. Dream Ash now left alone. One versus three. He's down to seven HP right now, and now he's been spotted. It's an easy kill for Destrian in the end. But right now, look at OG. They're actually just trying to jump onto the side to try and hold it from that position. And the Hunter's Fury is used on the attack. He gets an already tagged up Destrian. And Unko's trying to change oh. up his position. Manages to Shroud Step to get out of there. And him and Trix are holding down this site. Yeah, again, it's just Unko making the difference. His proactive play gets them into situations where he's getting these kills back. Oh, the good eight. And they're going to go and TP over to the other side of the map. Freagon goes down. And it's all on to Boo now. One versus two up against what is going to be a difficult retake because they've got to figure out where he's playing from but he's not down on 30 hp and look how quickly dps has got over here he has the exact idea where he's going Unko needs to watch here. he is but he might look away at the worst time oh. oh it doesn't even matter actually because they're both super low health but the dps has been somewhat dedicated to half was at least achieved before dps got hit by the near site oh no it didn't it didn't oh he didn't get on the half and now that really puts pressure onto him but it doesn't matter he still gets off it gets the kill going to suppress any players that are nearby it also gives Krieg on a bit of an extra life he gets down so he's going to be able to still be picked up by the teammate but DPS wants to hold it, so yeah, we're going to see Kragon actually being picked up and raised, so he's back in the fight. But the ultimate's going to get shut down, and so is this this anti-plan from OG. They just get run over. Oh, Trex. Oh, he's right through the smoke. He'll hit the headshot. Dreamass has gone down. He's supported by the recon port, but not alive for much longer. To get rid of it. Still has this lockdown if you want to attempt this retake. And at this point, just looking for a couple of kills, is it even worth going for this? And with the flank of Boo, I think all their chances are about to slip through their fingers. Estrian walks right into him, the flank was held, and now Trex just trying to get away, so he can suppress right now, they know where he is, and Trex still comes away with a headshot. He's got the pinch shells available. They're gonna throw down, trying to take someone out, but setup they've got over for OG. They've got such a nice setup, especially with his blade score, but it hasn't been able to get anything out of it. And they need kills now on the Sheriff, Boo has doubled up. He's taken down two players inside of mid, and he's got info on the last and third. So now the play into the A site begins. It's a walkthrough. 
leading their way, clearing out the sites. Trying to figure out where these opponents are going to be, and very quickly on, they're going to realize the site's empty. They should be allowed to plant, and again, it is OG having to go for a retake attempt, but they're a man down into this. Got that lockdown still available. Eventually, they've got to go for one of these retakes, because this, this site keeps yeah. falling over and over again. This was an eco for OG, but it managed to pick up some guns. So yeah, this is, this is a run that they're dedicated to. The lockdown is going to be used. There's no utility to really stop it. Destrian is going to hold on to this angle, wait for somebody to push him, because really at this oh. point, GG is sticking on this spot. They actually do have a lineup to use the utility to fragment, but it doesn't stop the detain. Boo teleports just in the nick of time to not be caught. This is an incredible round for either side with all of the utility, and somehow it yet again comes down to the kill drive. Destrian having to clutch out. There's not much time. Wow. And Bewick has really struggled to try and set the pace. He's not sure where to look because of the way that GG are playing. It's another A retake now. They want to make sure that mid is clear before they fully dedicate onto this A site. The setups are pretty good. For all five members, the GG is still alive, but Dream Mass is pretty low health. Destrian's going to be front of the utility towards the back as I see. Oh. He can clear somebody out. Trex is there. The showstopper is coming out too. He runs into Krieger. Yeah, it doesn't get anything out of the showstopper, but still two players down in hell. It's just Destrian left alive. Got to pull this back. One quick kill. Oh, nearly the second as well, but... They're all so low, Destrian just needs a couple of bullets to land, but he hasn't cleared out hell, he doesn't know there's another player in there. And that's the biggest issue right now, and loudly, E-Hockey, and it may be a little bit insane to stick around, he will get suppressed. He's gonna have to be forced back inside the site. Lockdowns come through as well, now Live loudly trying to make this shock dart work, but it's immediately the Bladestorm that's found the kill. Forcing back the defense again, OG have no real say in terms of the initial hold. He's been holding it back. Unko even used the ultimate to try and flank in around, but wasn't expected Destrian to be there. Now he's dedicated with the lockdown. There's nobody there. There's no Odin's to wallbang it either. So now GG are under a heck of a lot more pressure. Oh. This is a oh. really nice play. And Trex actually gets them all lined up perfectly. They needed a hero. The Damage at the start of this one and even more now coming through as well. Yeah, a lot of bodies towards B. OG is certainly happy to let their presence known and with that smoke of the recon dart coming oh. in right now, this is very clear to GG that it's going to be a hit. Recon dart this top mid flank as well. There's so many players about to be here quickly. Tavix coming with one, loudly with one as well. Boo fighting back in front, Boathouse looking for the lineup on the frenzy. Trex is going to have to pull it back again. He's been suppressed in the corner. Krieg on with one and the second there as well. It will be the defenders. Better, so it's nice to see him performing this yeah. well. It's nice to see all of the GG players still performing and doing this well, and a win over OG would certainly turn some heads. Right, right now, again. He, yeah, he's just going for it. He, he seems to be just the, the monster you do not want to see in an open qualifier. That He's the kind of player that is the nightmare for everybody in this scenario. And OG, they've at least got DPS out, but he should be spotted by the outro, but it doesn't matter. He's so quickly on the loudly, and he turns back as well for the second. Who goes down? Flash point goes through and they're trying to really get him out of position. They've surprised him. Another flash coming in and Kriagon finally getting rid of him. KO is extremely strong right now. And Trex again has to be the hero. He has to deliver once more. He had a huge clutch prior with the 4k, but this time it's just too. It's a difficult clutch. He's gonna try and hold his position down in the middle of the site, hunkering down. But the issue is GG can double up. They can run in together. They can just run in for info, trade out the kill immediately, and Trex has got to make it work. They're flanking him behind him, taking a different position, and they split him, but he's found one and now turned it into the 1v1. Ooh. He tries to use the blast pack, but couldn't find the follow-up kill. It's Dream Ass that is the way. There's another lineup that he actually might have to break this oh. lockdown. This is he going to body block it? Oh. He's tried, but it's not going to work. The lockdown gets so destroyed. If, if people are wondering how good... KO can be, this could be a good round because the null command is still available. But whilst we were falling over the utility, OG will find themselves a player advantage. There's that null command trying to see what areas that can break down. Destrin can't use any utility, has to take this fight. But it depends if he gets checked or not. It doesn't! None of GG oh. are going to be checking. Destrian Trex come out. It's nice to see somebody kind of, you know have the goal to be like, I'm just going to play KO and I'm going to show everybody how good he is. And we've seen such oppressive utility. Like, the Fragment is often an overlooked ability, but he's done well to shut down spaces, shut down ultimates. He seems to have a lineup for every occasion. Yeah, he's really getting the most out of all of his kit, right? Everything seems to have a huge use case for him. Mini-Boo's aggression on the Operator. 
Once you get that, that early kill. control, he cleared it out with the, the Aldrum, but he gets a little greedy, goes back in for the repeek, and DPS is able to take him down quickly. So it is a man advantage for OG, and Boo tries to get through the dark cover, but he'll have to drop back into CT. A man advantage will be in play for OG. They're clearing out the B site. Eventually, they'll realize it is empty, and they'll get that spike planted. Now it's on to GG to pull off this retake, and good post plant positions taken right now. Paranoia goes in. They're really trying to figure out can they get this corner opened up? Right down there. Boo needs to find this angle. Onko has found the double kill for OG. And more heartbreak games because they're in this scenario where they've got to do it all over again. And this time you've got GG to go up against. They've got a difficult battle ahead of them. And it's going to be Dream Ass taking one opening to Vic down early. The judge looked up, spotted the updraft, and the kills come through to give the advantage over to GG. Destrian trying to get aggressive. He's done well through the smoke. He draws back in behind it. Minibu has found one on the blade. Storm is still alive, still causing problems. And Dream Ass tries to get aggressive, but Minibu has come in with one. Trex trades him out. They're trying to get rid of the lockdown, and eventually it'll be destroyed. The classic rattling off the bullets, and now we're down to the 1v1. The doorway comes down, and DPS now looking for the plant. Loudly trying to take through the doorway, breaking it down, giving away his position, but it comes down to this 1v1. DPS spotted, retreating back into the site. He's still got that Hunter's Fury, but decides to go with the rifle straight into the peak. And as if they were at the beginning of this round, they have no information as to what is available to them. They've got to try and use that recon ball to try and spot something out. They're able to pick anything up from it, and Dream Ass has actually dropped back into the A side at the right time. Here comes a dark cover in, Trex is crossing on over on the other side of it. Good positioning, good posturing. They're just going to leave him there. In fact, they're going to go back. They're going to leave and go into mid. But he used to from the shadows. Unko is going to spot the silver at the last second. And Tavik actually with the attacking operator wins that duel with Mini Boo. Now this is working oh. out nicely. Destrian is going to be caught from the Hunter's Fury from Loudly. And Trex, running with the knife out, runs right into Kriagon. So he's going to stay and hold his ground. He gets a second. And this ring around the rose here, Voji trying to bait and pull around the map. It's ended terribly. Whilst DPS can get the kill, he stalled. The fragment kills him. And Kriagon just personally shut down that, the whole round. Yeah, I think we're going to see more out of that. I think we're going to see McComp right now. So that's Pansy putting on a best Irish accent and Hypoc needs a haircut. Yeah, he needs to shave his head. Man, he's got the beard for it. He'd still look good with a, a bald head. I think he'll yeah. go for it. With his glasses as well. Yeah. Pieces when it comes to this GG side. And now the showstopper's going to be used on the attack, but Trex, he's suppressed, so his ultimate gets shut down. He gets one before Krieger on trades him. Now 3 versus 2. Yeah, 3v2 favoring the OG side, and they need every round now. They cannot afford to let this drop. Flashes out, trying to make the flash drive work for them, and Krieger no. Okay, that is it! 4k for him, and now it is just one remaining. Kriagon is shutting everybody down, and this KO is just unbelievable. It's untouchable, and Destrian has to make it happen. Coming back in, trying to bait out the shot, getting the info that spikes down. It's not just Kriagon alive, that's the biggest problem right now. We still got to deal with the other. The zero point being used just yet. Kriagon's ready to go. They might use it now to shut down this trailblaze, and it does suppress the Vic. So that's expensive utility, but the Vic actually just been used up. Oh, Kriagon, he will go down after one. His multi-kill potential was huge over on the previous map, and now Dream Ass caught between two positions, and, you know, traditionally it's not good to fight a war on two fronts, so he goes down quite quickly. It's the Frenzy that's come in to find the kill, and now a 3v3 because Boo has pulled it back, and that incendiary, that's going to land right on top of default. That's going to make things a little hot and heavy, a little bit like the London weather right now. As all the kills start to come through, it's DPS trying to hang back and get involved in this clutch because it needs to be the 1v2. He dodges the recon bolt, Starts to move closer through. Lamps and Boo will spot him. The front. He's going to be able to sort of throw this through. Gets pushed a little bit more forward facing, but he's still able to wrap them all up nicely with the qualifiers, especially. So, should be seeing more of this. Trex and Onko getting a fantastic start to the round. This mid aggression not working out at all for GG. They try to go aggressive, strength in numbers, and finally they're getting kills back. Two have come through once again at a three versus two. It's a doable scenario, and they've got the spike, and that, that's the biggest problem right now. And again, another important kill for Loudly found. Spike count goes down. They try and get info. They know there's two players around the corner. Shock Dart going through and dealing damage out to Devic, and he's gone down again. Loudly making so much noise right now. So, and he doesn't have any utility that will come online as well either. He needs to not overthink it. If you can play from lamps, that's a good spot. Dream Mask might have a good position here, and oh. luckily Destrian was watching. 
both on this furious find nothing yeah it's uh, a little unfortunate or fortunate whatever way you look at it but that aldron is going to spot a couple of players trying to posture in towards this a hit and in fact everybody right now going for this the orbital strike coming through and they're gonna dodge it we're gone oh, he's right behind the snake bite push back he will get a double kill really making it work and for og that's the setup they've tried before they try to go for that viper setup and it usually forces them into that cutout that cubby but krigon just takes a step back and gets a double kill out of it and now the rest of the shutdown boom bot he better utility used to break in so trex is just gonna have to try and do it without anything he does manage to win the duel against boo he does go down to pretty low hell for there's still this pressure coming in from og and hookah but all four players left alive are all playing from the same position. It's a nice little crossfire. Oh. And Kragon's facing into a few of them, but he can't win those fights. Yeah, couldn't go behind the cover because the pain shells are actually covering that fallback. So decided to just stick around, take the fight, and ended up getting away with one. Thought he was going to get a little bit more out of it, but Viper's pit goes down. Trying to allow them into the site. Aldron going through and Dream Ass dodging it. Gets into the Viper's pit itself. Throws the Neural Theft on. He has been spotted by the last second, and that's going to tie him. Spots a couple in the, the pit itself. And now the pinch shells go through, but look at this position of Unko up on top of the tube. This could work out really well for him. A difficult spot to try and figure out that he's playing up here. Just peering around, trying to find some heads, and DPS eventually goes through, finds Mini Boo, brings him down, and now we're at a 2v2. That spike still yet to be planted. With the Viper's Pit up right now, you'll see this become really difficult, but loudly just waiting for the mistake, and finally, Unko goes in for the fight. He now has the whole round on his shoulders. He's got to make it happen. Not only does he have to plant the spike, he's also got to find the kill, and it doesn't even need the spike plant. OG, again, just loving these A hits. This is something they were doing in the open qualifier before as well, just really trying to get in to these A sites, a lot of executes, but I'm loving how they're playing this. But over the top, Trex realizes he had to eliminate Kriagan because he was doing so much work getting multi-kills, and now they've gotten rid of him. It's a 3v3. And OG have got the, the spike planet, so now they can just drop back into the post plant and take some covered positions. And Trex is actually going to hang around in the open. He's still got that showstopper as well, so if he can get that off, that would be monumental. So he's just taking the time. Boombot's going to give away his position. Utility's starting to come in, but nice shot from Trex. Throws the pinch shells up into heaven and just drops back in behind cover. Chips away a bit of damage at this point. Now it's all up to Mini Boo. They're not losing members in these early plays, so they've still got the 5v5, and they're going in towards B. Miniboo's got one on the operator, Dream Ass peeking out, Miniboo with another one, and suddenly a huge shutdown starts to come through for GG. It was looking good, it looked like there was a real chance here for OG, but suddenly nothing is left. It's a bit concerning that they're all sort of grouped up in the same spot. You have that one default in Lurker, oh, but shot. I really like that adaptation from OG, using the tendencies of GG against them, and now they've got to pull off the retake. Are they on the back side with a Phantom trying to work out where Tavik is? He's picked up the Operator and gets one onto Boo. Three versus four now. The Null Command is in place. It's silencing all of these abilities onto oh, OG. Defuse. The Defuse is coming in. There's no post plant utility. This oh, is beautifully done. No! The Defuse is still being stuck because it was the Operator kill. Oh, that's a nightmare round. It's been, a, it's been an awkward couple of rounds, but he survives with his life at least after getting one. Now's a good chance to just... Use this utility, let it do its job. The Trailblazers from a very shallow position. It means a lot of space needs to be taken from Tavik. Luckily, the rest of OG is doing a solid amount of work over in A. Certainly towards the main part, Krigon's oh. in a position that he likes to play in. Are they going to peek him? Are they going to work it out? They actually line up to him, but DPS still manages to trade out narrowly. And it's a 4 versus 2. The spike should be going coming down soon, but this wraparound is looking scary. Yeah, Krigon. I, I got a little worried. I thought he was going to get more, but... Dream Ass getting one away, Boo as well, quickly finding the follow-up, and suddenly we're back into a 2v2. And in fact, Boo's kill stopped the spike from going down. Sky smokes into the site, they're putting pressure now on the two remaining players of OG. Enemies reveal with a neural theft, and things are looking real rough, especially Close. with that shock dart landing, 10 HP left. Boo's gonna try and get a kill. There's a lot more pressure on Boo to make it work now. He is the player that has to make it happen with the health, and Hunter Fury is going to be invested into. DPS getting one, knew the low HP, and now looking for the follow-up. Boo trying to dodge. He will eventually stay alive and swing into the open, and now he's got himself into a 1v1. Boo could win this round. He's going to hold patiently for the iron goal. DPS is creeping further back, trying to find that position, and what? Boo has done it. Somehow, he has stolen it away, and a headshot has been secured. Up the scoreboard.
With Hunter's Fury coming out, Seeker's gonna catch him as well, so Loudly just trying his best to try and line them up, but nothing coming out of it. Still a showstopper available for OG, but the same can be said for GG. They've got a lot to play with. Dreamass is looking for some information. Not only information, but he wants to kill here. Clearing the close corners. Timing's worked out to allow him closer. Issue is, if he goes a little too far, he's probably going to be traded and not even getting a kill. So, maybe a little aggressive there, especially with no help, no trade potential, and no utility being used. So, that's going to give the opening. He's trying to get that guy in life to get some information, but that's all the boon needs to work with. The orbital strike is thrown in on that position. Pushes some people out, and he actually is able to get a few more boosts still on the back. But he does get traded out. Now the, uh, the showstopper even on the side of mini boo all the way from showers is shut down from Trex. Two versus two. The KO is still alive with Kriagon. Trex wants to hold this angle. Doesn't need the ability. He should have really held the angle. He didn't have much to work with utility-wise anyway. And Kriagon yet again clears it out. That's going to be 9-3 for GG. Five more rounds. Oh. Absolutely no surprise that OG is sweating as much as they are right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the KO is, is certainly difficult to, to expect and prepare for. There's nothing to go on at all. Uh, and, and just adding another facet to that as well is just making things incredibly difficult. As you can see, they are suffering to that agent, right? They haven't been able to combat him at all. Dreamass and now trying to move his way with the ghost around the corner, waiting for him as a double stack. The ghost in the frenzy, and now the frenzy, the second in, and Boo is doubled up. Again, just delivering unbelievable impact. Trex from the back of the site really needs to make it happen. He's run out of ammo, but he's still alive. Satchel over the top trying to connect some extra damage, trying to sprinkle them down, but now he needs to pepper more. He's been suppressed and he's getting kills. Trex on the triple kill, and now he's swinging out again, but his DPS lead time perfectly lined up. And again, Kriagon causing so many problems. Boo is going to hit the deck. They have tagged up Kriagon, who will drop back, but his teammate is at elbow. Dreamass has the cam to peek around the corner, and Trex is trying to get forward. The regrowth coming in. Now the guiding light at the ready. They're going to try and pop into the retake. They've got to make it happen. Dreamass has come in with one. DPS doing a good job of trending it out, but it's still a 3v2. It's still favoring GG. We've got to see more out of this defensive side, and Tavik is making it work. Tapping the defuse, not sticking it though. And Minipu doesn't know that, but loudly certainly does. Peeks out from long, and now it's all on Tavik, left alone. This time taking too far gone, now they're just playing with their food. The Vic's gonna get a kill on the way out, but it's just a parting gift. And what will be a round win for GG. They're now up to 10-5, and not even a save for connected. So, at least a positive here for OG at the beginning of the round. No early damage being inflicted. But for GG, it's a slow round. Just playing out the default, waiting for some aggression to come out of OG. And now they're just being methodical. There's the Hunter's Fury on the attack, it was... Got this round, and it gets very little, oh. but the Orbital Strike... Ooh, the Snake Bite is really awful, like OG are just making it horrible for GG to try and plant there. Yeah, that's the issue when you play so slow, they haven't baited out yeah. any utilities, they can just throw it all down on default. DPS and Elko just getting frags between them. Constricted and wrapped around, they're ready to peek as soon as that spike goes down, but there wasn't any time anyway. Yeah. Just because GG don't know that it's clear, they're very good, and then gets dumpstered in the tournament afterwards. It's just those kind of like OG moments that have really struggled, and the Vic doesn't want to be caught with utility in hand. He is up against pistols, but when you're up against a good amount of them, it still can be scary. The second guy in light comes in, he's held his ground. Just as I was saying, we don't see that many flawlesses. We see a great round from Tavik, free team will punish them. And I think that's what GG have done, and it's kind of shocked OG to their system. Now when this Fury is good, it's proactive oh. against two. DPS gets everything he needs, and it's just Kragon in that position, and he also gets two, this time with just the Vandal. Not that much space over given away, because Kragon does eventually go down. Tavik is going to find that information. He's hungry for more. There's just one last player in Boo. Bit of doubt, and Boo's just going to haul from elbow, waiting for the walkout of Hookup. With a smoke up, he knows he's just able to sit back, but they're going to smoke him off. Now he gets into it. Here's the defuse. Hasn't got the lineup though. He has not got the lineup and they know exactly where he is. Defuse just coming, coming through. He's not landing any of the shots. And Trek. And this wraparound pinch is going to be heard from GG. Ah, oh, Dream Ass. It's done well. It's found to Vic. That's going to be a big opening. Oh, and Trex tries to blast back up, but he's going to be caught as well. Mini Boo doing good work. And DPS. I don't know how he's done it, but he's come away with a double. 
And now Destra trying to get involved as well. Oh, it's a long and winded spray, but it's not been able to amount to a kill. And it's put it all under DPS, and they know where he is, but the lineup nearly getting away there with a double but controlling after the first. G need to do better. They need to play smarter instead of faster, but even then, tricks with the operator. Still good for one. Gonna peek to see if he can find more in Hookah. There's a lot of bodies still heading towards that B side from GG. Oh. A smoke fire is insane, but Tavik's gonna go into it. He's going to go down. Trex luckily did find loudly, and Kriagon's gone down as well to the rifle of Destrian, but this is aggressive. This is really aggressive. Back into the site. DPS is gonna find a headshot, but Dreamass doubling up, and now it's DPS looking for his follow up kills. He's gonna send the drone out to try and figure out wherever they're playing from. How should know? He should be close, and they're gonna drop back now into elbow. They're just trading positions, and Dreamus has made the right call, but is he looking the right way? He will, and nearly, <laughs> nearly the double kill, but on could oh, no. be caught. The Hunter's Fury tried to get through the TP, and he has actually got away with his life. So Shellstopper used, it's actually going to be on the attack but because of the player going down, it doesn't get used. So that's another big loss for GG. OG just spraying through to Hooker, it's under a lot of pressure. Now Defender Spawn being smoked off, it forces OG to play a bit more forward facing on the map. Oh. And all these players all pulled into the orbital strike, they all wanted to take those aim jewels. And now it's just holding on to corners cool. and OG still finding kills and Destrian holding on. Yeah, don't forget about Destrian, still inside of the site, but he's now down to Boo because Destrian's dealt out his damage. Boo is now in the clutch, the 1v3, Spike not down, and it's going to be difficult. They spawned out the info, they know exactly where he's playing from, and he's got to deal with a double stack in towards the site itself. Trailblazer, oh, it goes past him, eventually will spot on the look back, and Boo is completely under pressure now. Oh, you like through shot guards coming in. He's been bombarded with everything. They're throwing the kitchen sink at him, and finally Destrian puts him out of his misery at point. They'd still have to win the map after this, which would be Icebox, but we could be going to overtime depending on what GG can get done, and their buy, it's not great. They used the Showstopper. They used the Hunter's Fury. They used the Orbital Strike, and it's still... Couldn't confirm the round. Himself to see it out. And there's the showstopper coming in. Maybe going to be that. Oh, it could be another second chance for GD to bring. He's going to get rid of all of them. Just lines them up. And now Kriya gone. He goes down again. He's been trying to go for these early shower battles. But every early fight in that area has gone OG's way recently. Now well, they're changing it up. They're starting to wrap through short. They have traded out positions. GG have the sight. But OG have showers. And this that means they're going to play for retake. Yeah, they're actually pushing towards the defender spawn because they know that they can't rely on showers, so they have to sort of hold in a different position, dig their heels in into another spot. Guy didn't like could be a problem for Boo, though. He doesn't win that duel, but gets traded out. Luckily, oh, Boo oh. is still holding the line, but he goes down as well. Look at the flight from Lalvi. He's in behind him. He could shut this all down. He's found one. Position of Dream Ass is still strong as well, but that Sky Smoke is going to make things a little more difficult. Severus' information flow. He's just going to hang around on the spike, waiting for a tap and waiting for his chance to strike. Starting to wrap around it. There it is. The chance is there, but he hasn't been able to take it. And now the DQ starts to come through and loudly cannot do it. OG organization and roster. And early on will be the toxic screen up in towards the A site. Al drone through from loudly trying to pick up some early info. Hasn't spotted anybody, so it's a passive setup coming through from OG. They realize that. And GG are now hunting them down. Minibu has got one issue. It's Kriagon is taking the first, but Minibu eventually will get his kill. And the rest of the kills start to commit as well here for GG. It's an absolute shutdown from the attacking side. And Tavik tried to get a flank going, but all of his teammates are already dead. They haven't done a good enough job at holding. He'll fall. Lost if they don't make it this far. They might as well go all out, and they're doing exactly that. With this B split, a lot of pressure going to come in from Unko. He's forced to the back of sight, holds off for one, oh. gets a second, that's great. He's now trying to back off, and at least Destrian is there to trade. Yeah, he's done very well there to be able to pick up a couple of kills, but that spike getting planted, Boo taken down out of the site, and Trex is going to get aggressive. He's going to find himself one, and just as misses back into the site, it's wild. Vic has been caught, loudly getting the trade through, and that's an important trade to find. So, we are at this 4v3 impasse, and OG is certainly feeling more comfortable because they've got this early control of A, right? We've seen GG trying to force them back, and they've got to win this fight. And Kriagon has done that very well indeed. Destrian shutting down one of the walkways, but it doesn't do all that much, and he dies in the process as well. Who catches him, both X and Openki players facing up against each other. They're still not really finding these kills. Unko is completely separated from the action in a one versus three. Empress has been activated oh. as well by Kriagon, who's the away. But Miniboo trying to make the difference. Hunter's Fury invested into, and they're trying to get the line up. 
Jet dashing away, luckily Destrian is coming with one for OG and this could get really messy real quick. His own code delivers, Destrian getting involved as well and now just Dream Ass left alone. 20 seconds in the 1v3. He found his first stall but needs more, walls up and Ooh. couldn't get away with it. Off of him, in fact he's just gonna give it up, he wants to play passive, he knows that if he dies, he dies alone and nobody can play off of him. Tries to take that fight but can't quite get the headshot. Kragon's moving too quickly, the Resurrect brings it back now into a full 5 versus 5. The Viper's Pit gonna be used on the attack this time. The five members of OG need to retake this, and Tavik's gonna be the first one in. Oh, over the top of the Viper's Pit, a sick shot from Tavik. And now there's a real chance for this retake, especially with Destrian getting a double kill. Dream Ass still inside of the Viper's Pit, but now it's gone. A kill comes through, but it's now all on Boo. Up on top, he's got a position, a clean headshot, is applied directly below, and see his opponent. It's probably best he just drop back in behind the Toxic screen, and... Well, Destry and elsewhere has been able to find the opening for OG, so... Monko looking to try and follow up on that. Oh, oh a little no. off on his initial spray, and that is going to cost him. You've got to be accurate with that first bullet. And Trex is going to try and stay alive, buying time for his team, and GG, they're going to drop back, but this is the wrong call. The Orb's waiting for them. Tavik has taken him down, and that's the spike as well. This round is up in the air right now for GG. They have to go back over towards B again, and things are just looking rough. Managed, Kragon's managed to pick up a gun actually, DPS jump peeking to see how much information he can get. There's still time for a bit of a re-peek, but oh. Tavik has actually pushed all the way through A-Bell. Oh. Numbers are coming in. This is actually really good for GG because they know that Tavik is not involved in this fight. DPS is stepping up and they all step in line for him. Now it's just the Jets facing off. Yeah, they were all grouped up in the same position and that allowed for the lineup that puts Manipu in the 1v1. Jet versus Jet. It's like looking in a mirror, but we'll see if this one fights back. Minipu creeps past yellow, good angle. Oh, the blade storms both out, but Minipu with the 4k. Eyes of both teams, eventually there will be a long-term victor. And oh, Tavik, he gets aggressive with the classic. You don't need the big guns if you've got the timing. And that's worked out for the opening kill. I have to try and get a little bit more off of this, though. Estrian trying to play at the bottom of Tube. And Shorty in close position. The judge as well, taking... A close enough angle and the poisons come back up. Boo has been able to find himself one. Trex has gone down. Destrian hitting the deck as well. So the defense starting to crumble piece by piece. But the judge again comes through. It's the double kill from Onko. The patience has paid off. And his teammate backed him up. He saved him from death. And it's all on Boo now. He's found a double in the round already. But now needs every single kill. He needs the ace to win the round. That's the right idea, the snake bite forces the peak, but he wasn't looking at the right angle, but he goes out to the right side, and he's fighting and nearly gets away with... You know, you're just gonna try and re-peak and change oh. your position. But look at Kriagon, he's got, he slipped the net. Finally being spotted though by the Owl Drones, they know exactly where he is, and the Hunter's Fury starting to come in! Oh, to Vic! Luckily getting out of position, getting out of dodge. He didn't get a kill, but his teammate was able to step up, and now Tavik is gone. It's Destrian at the back of the site. Cloud burst up to sever off his information flow. It didn't allow for the safe passage, so the spike is not down. But there is still time to play with right now for GG. And GG are also doing a really good job at forcing the picks away from Tavik. And look at this mid-play. They just didn't look for it! And Boo's come in with a double kill. It's a sneak attack. He's crept up in behind them and taken two away. And now they've got to get that kill back. On coast done very well, but look at this grimy little ratty position. One from Trex, he would have liked another. And that res is going to bring Kriagon back up. So 5-4 scoreline. Certainly looking good for GG to go for a sixth. And you go back over towards this B site and waiting for them is on co. He's going to try and get the timer with a wall, but it doesn't quite work out. There's been a lot of those sprays that don't quite connect onto the headshot. Getting spotted by Utility, forced off of his angle, and now Boo running forward. Viper's pit invested into into the site, but Tavik has got a very important kill there. Lovely flick, he's brung out the blade stone. Oh! Peeks onto another, Mini Boo's going to go down, he's holding his ground. This is much better from him individually. Just waiting for a peek on the toxic screen to go down, and now GG, this is where they start to look a little bit more lethal, a little bit more problematic. There's free alive, they're just trying to see what space they can find, the resurrect dedicated why not to the last round, to bring all five members of OG back into the server, up until Kriagon finds that opening. Oh, could have got the right click off, but loudly getting one, went flying up to upper and ended up just going down, couldn't react quick enough. And now Dream Ass puts the wall up onto default, but DPS is positioning. He's got close. Oh, they have no idea he's here right now. He's got away with one. 
And now Dreamass looking for the plant, but they just swing around. They know he had no cover. If he's off it, then they win the round. The Aldro. He wasn't coming around the corner, so instead peeks out again, allows his teammate to eliminate it. And now the utility starts to come in from Viper. Oh my god, Boo! Okay, gets one on the Destrian. Big kill to find Spike getting planted on upper. This is looking good right now with that spike down, but still the man advantage for GG coming into the retake. Goxic Cloud will fade away, but the wall still protects to Vic up on top. Tildy starting to go in. Recon Dark clearing out yellow. Grex has found a double kill and now getting aggressive is to Vic on. Trying to find these places, put some fights. Pull these defenders in in difficult positions. Oh. The DPS with the Guardian is good to win one. This is exactly what OG want. They've got a bit more freedom towards the A site. The rotate hasn't come in instantly from GG. They should be hitting very quickly. Yeah, great stuff coming out of these early engagements for OG. Just getting those opening kills, adding them to the tally, and now things are looking good. Boo starts to come back up. Toxic screen still in play. He's about to walk through the other side of it. No one waiting for him. Eventually, though, he goes around this corner. He will spot one that's just about dashing deep into the site. And Boo's got to get a code to maybe take an aggressive peek or anybody from OG because they've done that pretty consistently across this series. Makes sense to try and hold the line and just hold a more passive angle to see what you can get. It is on oh. to get that first kill off mini Boo. There's that peak and there's that weight. It works out perfectly for Boo. The patience absolutely pays off. There are no way. Recon Dad doesn't get much, but Kragon is still going to try and press and push. The blade stop dedicated instantly used on the right click, but to big in the flash goes down. Three players left alive for GG, they're just going to have to give up the site. Yeah, they have got the Hunter's Fury still, though, and Loudly is going to start firing that in, but hasn't really been able to do much from it. He does dish out some damage, but no impactful kills, no shutdown of the round attack, and now sending the drone in, just getting the information. No one's on this close side, so it's pretty likely a little further down, and maybe in this corner towards the back of the side itself, and now they start the retake attempt. Destruins hit one, and we'll go back for a little more, and eventually we'll go down to Boo, but it was a double setup in there for the defense of the post plant. They're not going to go too aggressive around that corner, so DPS is just going to hold his position. Snake bike on towards the default. And Dream Master is going to throw up his wall, oh, tapping onto bite. it, but again, they didn't. They weren't ready for DPS, and the snake bite is still in again. And Boo now diving down, trying to make something happen of his vandal. He's done well in looking out to the left side, but it is still the position of Koji. Reconsider how to go for this execute, but their utility has pretty much been standard. Oh! Onko finally gets up through Tube. It's a good position to get in behind. He's got a double kill. And now the Hunter's Fury in as well. Loudly trying to dodge it, but he goes right into it. DPS taking him out. And now the Blade Storm of Mini Boo needs to deliver, but Tavik plucks him out of the sky. And everybody goes down. Oh, gee. They Destrian has a. wants to wall off to protect Tavik. He wants to get the, the res in, but the wall is going to be broken. This is a problem. It's going to be watched. A bit more utility thrown out. Just throwing some slobs to stop people from peeking from it. And with Unko looking a bit oh. more threatening, it doesn't matter still. Okay. Mini Boo getting both of them. The res are in the res with the Guardian from distance. DPS is still trying to press in this position. The spike needs to be picked up and taken. Look at Boo. He's starting to push along mid. And loudly he's got a grid spot in behind the site. Mini Boo has found another one. Swinging out into the open. Unko is able to deliver a headshot, but it just will be one. And now Trex has everything to do for OG. If they want a 12th round now, he's got to pull off the 1v3. He's going to look up in towards heaven. No one there. No one peeking him. No one causing problems. He's got to go to them. He's got to make the fights happen. He gets closer and towards the site. He still has the spike on his back. He can tap that and try and pull a fight into him. And eventually he will stick it. He's also got that impress available if he wants to use it into this. But he's spotted from behind and Boo will take him down. A great, potentially be a great way to finish up the series. Oh, to Vic, that is huge to start things off. Absolutely brilliant on the double kill. Operator making a lot of work happen here for OG. Finally, the talisman is taken out of play at the beginning of the round. Loudly, the man who did get aggressive gets spotted by the drone, so he's going to be forced away. Look at B. It's and Rice has come through as well. Yeah. To take. It is a little unfortunate you have such a good start there. Uh, uh, that everything sort of starts to unravel and then suddenly OG have the B-side again. The rotation, because so much chaos started at the beginning of the round, the rotation was pulled away. And that spike starts to go down. Loudly's coming with a quick kill on Onko. So four versus three, this time favoring GG. For OG, this is kind of worrying because now they're all stuck behind yellow. And they've got to try and hold off this retake attempt. 
Toxic screen up. Mini Boo holding for some aggression through it. They've got to go in towards it. Trex is holding for the play on through that. Recon bolt starts to spawn him out, but it's Destrian coming in with one DPS following up. The kills go back and forth, but it is... To play up against when you have all of these toxic screens in your face and a very turtle down OG. It's match and series point for them. And the buy for GG's maybe a last hurrah isn't necessarily the best. They're one away from having a... Are clear, you're not going to be caught off by any gimmicky setup. And Boo has gone into a pretty cool spot right now up on top of default. I wonder if they're going to look for him on top of this. Poison Cloud up as well alongside the toxic screen, but it's not going to work out for him. He's going to have to drop off his position. Viper Pit goes through, and Dream Ass now trying to peer down into it, but nothing really going for either side. Finally, blood is drawn. It's Destrian, the man that has blood on his hands. And that spike still yet to be planted. It doesn't feel comfortable going into the site right now. The Blitz Torn firing shots through, but finally some kills come in and it's all an OG. It's looking like it's done. It's just loudly left alone. It's a chaotic end, but most of the kills go OG with way. In fact, all of them do. And loudly left just picking up the scraps. He's gonna fire the recon arrow in and eventually.